I will say from the moment I read it, it was all there on the on the on the page. Dave had writ written such a, a beautiful script. And uh, when I read it, I was like laughing out loud and then crying out loud. And um, I was kind of went through a roller coaster of emotions reading it. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, talking about, you know, it, it said in, in, in the 90s and, um, you know, it's set two years after homosexuality was decriminalized in, in Ireland. And it's, it's kind of terrifying how recent that is really. Um, I, and, um, and I think one thing that we talked about quite a lot is like, although um, it is set in the 90s and it's, it's a period film, um, you could set Dating Amber uh, uh, now uh, in a lot of uh, places all around the world and, and the same, um, the same themes and, and, the, and the same story would, would ring absolutely true. Um, uh, in, in terms of uh, what I learned about the relationship with Eddie and Amber, um, you know, Lola, uh, Lola and I chemistry read together and um, just uh, it was quite a while before we started shooting, but we'd gone through all the stages of auditions and then we, we chemistry read uh, together. And I knew right away that, that she was going to get the part. Like, she was just so, so brilliant. And I remember thinking, because in those chemistry reads, you know, there's, there's four Eddies, four Ambers. So you're mixing up all these different combinations. And when Lola read, I was like, oh God, I should probably stay close to her because that might improve my chances of, of getting cast in the film. But, um, but, but, but then we, uh, w when we were cast, we, we had a lot of rehearsal time and we uh, brought a lot of ourselves to the characters and, and uh, spoke a lot with Dave and, and just worked for, for months on, on developing that relationship between Eddie and Amber, you know, the kind of the, the central performance in the film isn't Eddie or Amber, it's, it's Eddie, Eddie and Amber. That's really the central performance. And, and it was really important to us to, to, to get that right. Um, but uh, yeah, did I answer your question? I might've gone on a little bit of a tangent there. Answer the perfectly. I, I think that there, there's, there's certainly been a lot of progress made and it's really important to celebrate the progress the husband made. Um, but it's equally as important to acknowledge how far there is to go still. Um, you know, um, there, there were things that, you know, this film set in the 90s. I left secondary school in 2014. And, um, you know, when I was a teenager and when Eddie was a teenager, even though the time period is quite far, um, things like casual homophobia and and homophobic language being a part of people's vocabulary was still absolutely present. Um, so I think um, I, I think that people often make the mistake that, um, that things have gotten better, of course, and it is uh, easier uh, for LGBT kids in school now, but I think people make the mistake of thinking because things have gotten better that it's easy. And there's a big difference between easy and easier. There's still a really long way to go. And, and um, you know, uh, different uh, legislation being passed is, is really, really important and it's, and it's brilliant and it's great to celebrate. But I think sometimes people don't acknowledge that just because a law is passed doesn't mean that all the problems go, go, go away. Um, and um, yeah, I think like I, I was pinching myself getting the chance to audition for the Russo brothers. Um, you know, just being able to audition for them was a dream come true. And um, then to get a phone call to find out that I'd, I'd gotten the part was, um, was, was amazing. And, and I learned so much being on that film set um, from them and from Tom. And uh, they're, they're, they're such incredible, um, filmmakers, all of them. So I, I learned an awful lot and I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that opportunity. Um, and, then, and then with Wolf, um, we were meant to shoot Wolf uh, before uh, the first lockdown. And, and it ended up, um, of course, like everything else, getting pushed a little bit down the line. And, um, and, uh, and then we uh, all kind of got back together in October, August, September, October uh, to, to film it. And, and again, it, it, that was an experience I'll never, I'll never forget for, for lots of reasons. I, I loved that script so much and I, 
I, I was so so honored to be able to be a part of that film. I think Natalie, the director, is is a genius, and, and getting the chance to work with George and with Lily was was incredible. Um, and and uh, and also filming it under very kind of different circumstances, uh, or being isolated together was something that was new for for all of us. And I think it really built up a really beautiful camaraderie between everyone. It was just it was just so much so much fun. Uh, Would well, you know? I've been really lucky that I've been able to work on on stories that I feel really passionate about, and and characters that I really I care about, and and um, uh, and I and I think that if I could if I could keep doing that, if I could keep telling stories that I that I feel are important stories and that I'm I'm, I'm passionate about, I, I it would that would be a dream come true. There, of course, are so many filmmakers that I'd love to to work with. Um, but but as long as I can keep making uh, projects that I love and I, I really care about, I'll be I'll be really happy. Excellent, Bjorn. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. Very no, much. thank you. Um, take care, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.